The AI influencer Gold Rush is making people tens of thousands every month, but 96% of people are missing it by not being able to use AI correctly. Have you ever made a person with AI that looks incredible only to realize the next image makes it look like a totally different person? Like you have an aesthetic girl with sun-kissed skin and chill Paris energy, but in the next image, she looks like her distant relative from another timeline with different eyes, nose, and hair. That's the problem most people can never solve. And the reason this matters is because right now, there's a tiny time window where people are building AI influencers that look completely real. And they're using them to post daily, build a following, and even get brand deals that pay thousands a month, all automated. If you're seeing hyper real characters just like these pop up on your feed and wondering, how are they doing this? It's because you are still stuck prompting and wasting hours for a single image just to get plastic Barbie results that scream AI. Only a few creators, the ones ahead of the curve, are quietly building these influencers that are consistent, brandable, and scarily real. And I was tired of feeling like the dumb one, feeling like everyone else has it figured out besides me. So I decided to test the most popular tools and find out which of them really works. I decided to make it into a challenge, a real challenge where I see if I can build an actual AI influencer that looks real and answer the question, could I actually build a believable AI influencer without losing my mind? And to make it even harder for myself, I will make an Instagram profile with nine consistent posts with the same looking person. But in a new setting, with new outfits and different poses, and every image looking like it came from the same camera roll. I'm not a designer with years on Photoshop behind my back, I'm just someone who wanted to make this work without wasting weeks on it. And if I could find that one tool, that would mean anyone can make an influencer looking more real than Kim Kardashian herself. So in this video, I will attempt to create an entire 9-grid Instagram feed for an AI influencer with just one tool. So the first tool I used was what most people would try, Dolly. It felt like the obvious move. It's built in right in ChatGPT, which most of us are already using on a daily basis. No need for an account setup or other weird software. And to start it all off, I typed in a simple prompt, nothing crazy. This was the exact one I used. A 21-year-old lifestyle girl sitting outside a French cafe, wearing a relaxed white tee and baggy jeans, golden hour light hitting her face, soft background blur. I just want a clean, normal post you'd see on a lifestyle feed. And this was the first image it gave me. Honestly, I was hyped. This result got me thinking that this challenge would end up being too easy to even make a video on. It looked amazing. Soft lighting, nice skin tone, the kind of subtle background blur that makes it feel like a legit photo. If I posted this on Instagram, people would 100% think she was real. But this feeling went away as fast as it came. Because when I hit generate again with the exact same prompt, exact same settings, but I just wanted her standing up instead of sitting, this result comes up. I got a totally different person, different nose, different mouth, and different hairstyle. So I changed the prompt and generated it again. Same problem, but this one looks even more different. And I did it again and again, but each time I got a new person. By attempt five, I've got what looks like five random girls from five different countries. But the most annoying part was that the quality of the images was still great. The lighting was on point and every texture looked real. But the person herself never ends up looking the same. There was nothing connecting them and no identity. It was a consistency failure. Dolly doesn't remember anything between images. There's no memory of who the person was in the last generation. So even if I copy and paste the exact same prompt 10 times in a row, I'll still get 10 different people. It's like the tool's intentionally gaslighting you. And that just doesn't work if your whole goal is to build a consistent character. Because building a persona is all about making it feel real. And in real life, people don't switch faces every time they go outside. So yeah, I was frustrated. Not because the images were ugly. They weren't. They looked good. Almost too good. But because no matter what I did, I couldn't get the tool to lock in on one person. And I realized that this isn't a creativity problem. It's a tech limitation. It doesn't matter how clever your prompts are, how many times you tweak the details, or how precise you try to get. If the tool can't remember who it just created, you're screwed before you start. And that's exactly what's happening here. Dolly is like a goldfish with zero memory and no continuity. You could feed it the exact same description a hundred times and still get a hundred different faces. There's no versioning, no reference points, no use the same girl button. It's just random every time. So yeah, if you're trying to make a one-off image to show off or pose for fun, cool, it'll probably look great. But if you're actually trying to build something like an influencer, 
a brand, a persona that can grow over time, this tool is useless because you can't build connection without consistency. And if the face is changing every time, no one's gonna believe in the character, not even you. So I scrapped Dolly and started looking for something else, something that could actually give me what I want. Then after a couple days of bouncing between tools that all kind of missed the mark, I found Design AI, and this one got me excited. From what I'd read, it was all about consistency. That was their whole thing. You could upload references, train a character, lock in facial structure, even guide poses. It looked like the tool that actually understood what I was trying to do here. So I jumped in, and at first, it was not bad. The interface is a bit overwhelming, but nothing like those AI dashboards that make you feel like you accidentally launched a game engine. So I started the whole process, and it quickly became too much. You don't just describe a girl in a prompt or upload one image. You have to go through a whole two hour process. You don't just throw in a single image and hit generate. To actually get a consistent character in design, you've got to go through their entire training setup. It's not overly complicated, but it still takes time and effort. First, you need quite a few solid images of your character. Not just random screenshots, but clear shots with good lighting and different angles. That's how the model learns the structure. Once you type in her name and added your images, you can start the training. That part alone takes about 40 to 50 minutes, so it's not easy, especially if you're testing multiple looks or tweaking things on the fly. And when it finally finished, here are the pictures I got which came out decent, but we are testing consistency here. So I typed in something basic to check if it all holds up. Sydney in a rainy Tokyo alleyway. She stands with one hand in her coat pocket, the other holding a cup of matcha. Her expression is thoughtful. She wears a minimalist gray coat, slim jeans, and ankle boots. Neon reflections shimmer in the wet pavement behind her. And the face actually held. Same jawline and same eye distance. The structure actually stayed consistent and it looked like the same person across different shots. But there was something off. If you look at it just a bit too much, it's obvious that this was still AI. The skin's too smooth. The hair looks drawn with a pencil. The background has a weird look, like it was composited by a machine that's never stepped outside. Which is true, but we don't want it to actually show. It doesn't feel like a snapshot from someone's phone. It feels like a simulation pretending to be a photo which if you're just trying to make a clean image is fine. But if your goal is to build a brand that people not just scroll past, but actually follow, this is where it breaks. So design is good for some things. If you're a designer or doing creative projects where realism isn't the goal, it's probably great. But for this challenge, where it's about creating a believable, brandable, Instagram ready AI persona that could hold up across a nine post grid, it didn't get me there. It's not fast enough. And most importantly, not real enough. And after this attempt, I was still stuck with images that technically worked, but couldn't pass as a real human being on a real feed. At this point, the pressure was building. I was starting to think maybe it wasn't possible. Maybe these accounts I kept seeing were just anomalies, or maybe they were doing something I hadn't figured out yet, but I wasn't done. After tons of tools and a lot of disappointments and more hours burned than I want to admit, this was it. I had only one attempt in me. And that's when I found open art. Right away, it felt different. The interface felt clean and easily understandable, but I was still skeptical because that good first impression had already failed me before, but open art didn't ask for much. It didn't want any 50 minute training cues and it didn't need me to spend hours figuring out how it worked. Just drag in your images, name your character and hit go. So I did and five minutes later, not hours, just five minutes, I had a working model. It didn't give me any overfitting issues. I had my character looking real, grounded, and consistent. I didn't prompt a whole book to get this result. It was quite simple. Something like, Sydney sitting outside a trendy cafe in downtown LA, she wears loose high-rise jeans, a tucked-in tank top, and white sneakers. LA vibe with murals and light traffic in the background. The character looked amazing. It felt like a real image you could see being posted by Kylie Jenner. The next image I made was a beach scene with sun flare and the hair moving in the breeze. In my opinion, this was even better. And the same here, I didn't need to overcomplicate it with the instructions, it all just worked so smoothly. Then, for the third one, I decided to go with the gym photo. My prompt here was, in a fitness studio, ponytail, fitted activewear, lifting dumbbells, determined expression, overhead fluorescent lights. And just look at how good it came out. Then downtown, cafe, and more. Sitting, standing, or moving, it didn't matter. Her core identity stayed intact through every single shot. Same energy and same vibe. It didn't just work, it worked effortlessly. And for the first time in this whole challenge, I felt that switch from testing to building. This wasn't some Frankenstein photo mashup or a lucky roll of the dice. 
It was a real looking person across nine different scenes, a full feed, something I'd actually feel confident posting. And here's the wild part. There's no secret to it. The reason open art works isn't just because it's good tech, though it is. It's because the experience is made for creators, for people like you and me, who aren't trying to become AI engineers, who just want to make content that works. You don't need fine tuning or get lucky with the prompt. You just need one to three clean photos and 10 minutes of breathing room. That's it. There's a tool inside open art called consistent character under storytelling mode. And if you follow the built in steps, literally upload and click, it handles the rest. Your model doesn't break when you type beach sunset. The endless prompting that used to take hours now takes only 10 minutes. What once felt impossible to do by yourself in your living room now feels automatic. And honestly, that's what makes it special. Because yeah, design had power, but it also didn't feel like it was made for creators. Open art just made it simple. To answer the question from the beginning of the video, could I actually build a believable AI influencer without losing my mind? Yes, and open art is the tool. It works and not just for me. The whole format is exploding. People are using it to launch niche pages, grow theme accounts, test content ideas, build visual brands, and even mock up entire product lines before spending a dollar on inventory. So if you're serious about this, now's the time to move. The results are real and you're still early because once this becomes mainstream, that wow factor, the one that makes people stop scrolling and say, wait, she's AI, won't hit the same anymore. Right now, you still have the chance to get ahead of it. Use it before everyone's in on the secret. The link to try open art is in the description. I'm not saying you need to build a full influencer empire overnight. Just try it. Pick a character, upload some pics, build a quick nine post grid and see how people react. If you want to try this yourself, I made something just for you. A full step-by-step -step tutorial is linked below. Inside, I'll walk you through the exact steps I used to train your character, how to write simple prompts that actually work and how to build a nine post grid that feels like a real feed. This video showed you what's possible. The tutorial shows you how to do it yourself. Whether you're trying to build a niche brand, test content ideas, or just want to see how deep this rabbit hole goes, this is the next video to watch. I'll see you there.